Have you ever tried to focus through music? Have you tried to put on some tunes while you're struggling to get a grasp on your deteriorating mental state? As you finally come across your ideal music and turn it on while you work, you find out that it just jumbles your brain and cripples your working spirit. You try to stay focused, but no. That sweet, sweet, juicy, delicious rhythm just keeps your mind away from the important stuff. Now, has that ever happened to you? Well, if it has, then this speech will be the right speech for you. Now, I'm sure that many of you have tried to play a song to help you relax or focus on work before. Sure, music helps you focus to some degree, but what matters is the right kind of music. Now, I'm not saying that your music taste is bad. No, I wouldn't say that. Everybody's brainwaves are connected to certain sounds, and if someone is connected to, say, static noises, then they could focus just as deeply listening to static as any others listening to music. It's just about finding the right kind. So this speech is going to be about a kind of music that is composed of certain sounds that is beneficial to everybody. It is a kind of music that takes in nearly all aspects of sound that causes relaxation to the main central cortex, which is your brain. In other words, a kind of music that will make most people comfortable while listening to it. And that is lo-fi. Lo-fi stands for low fidelity music. It is recorded with intentional uh, uh, errors and imperfections, such as misplaced notes, environmental noises, low humming and buzzing sounds, and so on, and static, yeah, and so on. It is the um, the polar opposite of hi-fi, which is high fidelity music, which are sounds that have a, ho which are sounds that have high quality sounds and a very distinct main rhythm. Now, hi-fi music is very good when it comes to exercising, parting, and just overall movement-based activities, right? However, when it comes to studying, focus, and relaxation, lo-fi is normally the go-to. Now, why is lo-fi, a type of music filled with intentional errors and mistakes, such a popular choice when it comes to studying? As mentioned before, lo-fi has intentional errors and setbacks. Those errors and setbacks, like background static noises or environmental sounds like rain, uh, help the front lobe of our brain focus. Unsurprisingly enough, our brain is flawed. <clears throat> our brain is flawed. It always wants to find distractions when we work. That's how intentional mistakes help us focus. You see, those misplaced notes, environmental noises, and static sounds all help us simulate a sense of reality to our brain. In a way, it tricks our brain to think that it is relaxing due to the imperfections of the song. In other words, it creates a false sense of reality inside your brain that tells your brain to relax. And, well, I'm sure that, as most of us know it, when your brain and you are relaxed, it's easier to, to maintain your focus and concentration. And that is how errors play a part in soothing the brain. Apart from errors, rhythm is also one of the main benefactors for lo-fi. Now, lo-fi has a distinct repetitive rhythm that loops itself over and over again. That means its tempo stays the same. The repeating yet interesting rhythm and the steady speed of lo-fi keeps the listener engaged. While other songs have uh, lyrics that people would need to comprehend, lo-fi possesses no spoken words at all. Basically, the song virtually poses no distraction to the listener whatsoever. And the predictable rhythm, along with the intentional errors, all create a sense of calmness in the listener. Now that's lo-fi. We now know that lo-fi helps us focus. We also know how it does that. What we don't know is why lo-fi keeps us focused. The answer to that is something called brain entrainment. Brain entrainment is basically a method of getting your brain waves in sync with certain stimulus, stimulus like sounds or visuals. In this case, we're talking sound. 
You know when you put on a song, when you're jogging, your steps automatically correct themselves to match the rhythm of the song? Or when you're, for example, playing piano and your feet starts tapping? That's brain entrainment for you. It alters your psyche so it fits into the song and goes along with it. Brain entrainment is based on the frequency of the sound ranging from alpha to theta. In this case, we're discussing alpha, which is a moderately low frequency that creates a calm and restful mind. The repetitive and low frequency and low fidelity music is perfect for the alpha type brain entrainment. <clears throat> and that's how it succeeds in creating focus for the listener. Apart from lo-fi, brain entrainment is virtually everywhere in our daily lives. The effects of the changed frequencies range from a state of high concentration to the state of deep sleep. Finding and listening to the correct frequency can help maintain attention, promote healthy sleep, lessen stress and anxiety, uh, enhance overall mood, and create prolonged memory. And that is why choosing the right things to listen is such a crucial subject. Now, how exactly can we find the right frequencies to soothe our minds? Well, the alpha frequency depends on the loudness and rhythm of the sound. There needs to be unchanging loudness, moderately similar tempo, and repeating rhythm to that sound for it to become an alpha frequency. A study done by MIT neuroscientists indicate that certain age periods goes well with certain frequencies. The most commonly accepted frequency is, well, the alpha frequency. It goes especially well with people around the age period period of 12 to 20. Sounds familiar? That's right. It's basically what low fidelity music has. Great, isn't it? Already something created for you to focus on. Now, through this speech, I hope all of you got to know one more factor that can help you with life. I hope that when you go home and sit in front of your computer to do work and study, you could remember this speech and pull up a tab with a lo-fi playlist on it. Because lo-fi does not only help you focus, it also creates a better lifestyle. Thank you.